Barstool Pick'em brought to you by our friends at DraftKings. Is anything better than college football? Well, seems every week there's a no way that just happened upset. The only way to make it better is by getting in on the action at DraftKings Sportsbook. It's super easy for first-timers to get started. Try betting on something simple like picking a team to win. Go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app, select your team, place your first bet. And for all newbies getting into the college spirit, here's something extra special. New DraftKings customers bet $5 to get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Score big with DraftKings all college football season long. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use code PIC. That's code PIC. For new customers, get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just 5 bucks. Only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. Uh, check out DraftKings. That's where we bet everything. And uh, go right now. And like I said, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use code PIC. You get... $200 in bonus bets when you bet just 5 bucks. Okay, Barstool Pick'em Week 7, boys. Uh, records real quick. I had a terrible week. I can't get out of my own way. Uh, Bosco with a great week. The Riders, you know there's a, you know, you know Rico had a good week, Dave. When you get the Riders starting to tweet, tweet at you on a football Sunday, like it's like literally witching hour, and I got some tweets being like, Bosco has Bosco has a six and three week and no mention of it. Like when he has a bad week, he gets he gets mentioned right away. It's the, like that's the actually, graphic. The graphic timing is a little obscure or a little like whoa, whoa, it's whoa. a little weird. Whoa, it's a little weird. Hold on, the graphic on bad weeks. It's definitely up on a Sunday. But hold on, the graphic war started when you did. You had one good week, like week two, and you had you on a boat and like the, the fucking missiles. Yeah. That's yeah. why we started the graph. You started it. Right, I didn't do that graphic though. The guy, the got riders who make the graphics. I can't control where they are. So the riders are everywhere. All right. Either way, so, uh, good week by Bosco. He's at to, he's back up to fifty percent, tied with Dave. I'm at forty seven point seven percent. I cannot win a mortal. I'm one in five. It's a joke. Rico and Dave at three and three. Ebo still five and one. He did lose his his first mortal. Um, but yeah, that was uh, the riders were were restless, and I'm a rider. Yes. Thank you. How are we doing, boys? Last week was crazy. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Unbelievable. I, I, I placed a bet that I never have placed before, and I picked a bad oh. – I did like your can't-lose parlay-style yeah. bet. I've never done that. I'm like, I'm just going to put together this, and it can't lose. I, I didn't lose – I lost I, – I, Bama and Tennessee, two huge favorites huge I had in favorites. there. It was the Bama, Bama one with Bama, Bama. Your point, yeah. Bama didn't just get like, or Bama didn't just lose seventeen ten, and a guy went out. Bama got beat. Yeah, there, it, yeah, there was nothing fluky to it. Like they just couldn't stop. They put forty on him. Vanderbilt put forty At, on him. I live bet that game too. I, it's like the worst. Ah, uh, the only live bet. I, Bama, I'm rooting for Bama in that game. Like a that's, jerk. Yeah, you're you're basically the guy who's who's rooting for the the two seed over a fifteen. Terrible at, at the bar in March Madness. The um the only live bet I made in that game was Bama touchdown on their second on their third quarter like opening drive, which was easy. But I like what did what did Vanderbilt end up going like? 12 of 16 on third down or something like it was they just stop them they, they, they absolutely play. could not stop them and they were easy they were like running the ball down and throw it was easy this quarterback came from nowhere like that's the portal like how how's this kid get to Vanderbilt he's he's he remember last year he beat Auburn at Auburn he owns yeah. the state of Alabama he's the it's crazy he, he's he's basically a, a Johnny Manziel light where like he was that kind of legend at New Mexico State. He remember I don't know if you remember the story, but he got in trouble because he got caught on video pissing on New Mexico's logo in their practice field. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that, but that, but that's what I'm saying. Like how a kid like that, like Michigan, we got no quarterback. Why, like we're a Take national a shot, championship. Yeah. It's not yeah. even a shot. You go. They couldn't have been that expensive. I also I loved. We Barstool, our Nashville bar, got a whole ton of publicity. Yeah, that man. little clip, he's like, we're going to Barstool tonight, and then they're partying there. So, uh, And yet I'm rooting against them like an asshole because I took I took the chalk. Yeah. I thought I was like – and then Alabama scored a second after I placed the bet. I'm like, they, I in my head, I'm like, Dave, you're so smart. Like, it went from minus 110 to, like, minus – 300 after the Alabama touchdown. I'm like, oh, a brilliant bet, but they couldn't stop him. They just could not stop him. Yeah, it was the the first half. Everyone was like, oh, this is cute. Like Bama will wake up and and just throttle him. But if you're watching the game, you're seeing that it's not 
just like, oh, a fluke play here, fluke play there. Like, Vandy's – I was off- not watching. Van- I was betting Canelan. I was just paying yeah. attention to the score. Vandy's offensive line was like kind of – hold. they were holding their own and kind of handling them. Kind of. They were mauling yeah. the plays, yeah. So, I – that was I, that was one of those games that I just because I've been having a tough tough football season where I took Vandy just from the spot and I was just like God damn it one time just have the balls to take the money line like that would have been incredible and I didn't see like more than a play I don't think of Tennessee because I think Tennessee was on the same time Michigan was on so it's just solely focused on Michigan what happened to Tennessee Tennessee has uh, what is just absolute torture for a fan base. They spent the last, whatever it was, three, four years rebuilding. Incredible offense, no defense. They now have a defense, a legit defense, and they have a freshman quarterback who's talented, but, but he makes like, mistakes. Even the, even the last, like, they had, like, I don't know, they let him score with, with whatever, a minute left to get the ball how, back. So how far out were they when they let that happen? Uh, Arkansas was on, like, maybe the 10. And they let them score a touchdown? Yeah, because it was basically like, I, w- w- was it the 10? Maybe might have been inside the 10. Wait it was a kind minute, of a how, weird play because it was like. How you let them score? It was like one That's guy. Crazy. It was like That's one, a Bosco move. Yeah, it was like one guy was kind of letting him, not letting him score. And then the second guy, I, I don't know if they officially said, did anyone else watch it? Do you guys think they it. let him score? Right, find the clip and text it to the group. I, I think they were letting him score. Wait a minute. But wait I might minute. be wrong. If you missed it, Bosco, how, then why did you chirp in on how the Tennessee quarterback Because a freshman quarterback played? can make mistakes. That's all I said. He can make mistakes. Okay, well, what I was going to say, Dave, is you, you saw it all mistakes. in uh, watching the game. So, Tennessee, I think they let him score. You guys watch the clip. F- find the oh, last Oklahoma or uh, Arkansas touchdown. To, to let them score a touchdown when they need a touchdown. Sorry, the they're on the three. Is, they're on the three. That's, that's insane. They're on the three. Uh, yeah, they're on the three. because That's insane. Oh, no, no. They were on the 11. I was right. They were on the 11. That That's insane. Find the clip. What, what do you mean you they guys let judge. them score? I feel like they let them score. Maybe yeah, you, you can't. You can't let them score there. They need it. It wasn't like they need a field goal. They need a touchdown. All right, watch the clip. Watch the clip. And tell me if you think that was a letting them score. Was it texted to me? Yeah, just texted. Yeah, because the second guy, I think the first guy might have not been letting him score. Second guy clearly was letting him score. Second guy lets him score. Yeah. Yeah. He steps to the side. They all did. Yeah. I think the first guy kind of well, was diving well, in his feet. All right. All right. There's something to be said for the second guy, but none of the guys on the whole team were moving. Yeah. Like it, at it, the line of scrimmage. It felt like they let him score because they had, you know, whatever it was, uh, a minute Wait and a minute. 17 left. I, I actually can't tell now. Like, are the all the. The second guy clearly let him score. Like, you could make that tackle at the goal line. I know they could have okay. gotten the first down technically, but that, that second guy could have clearly made a tackle. And he yeah, didn't. that one's a little different. I guess you get first and goal at the one. No, but they I, ca- look at the linemen. The linemen are kind of letting him score. Like the linemen are running. The, the, that I can't tell. Look at the. I know, but is he just out of the play? Because it looks like they're look all at the standing guy, up. Look at the guy in the corner on number six. He's definitely playing defense. Number s- wait, where the guy who dives? Yeah, tries the, yeah, to make that the guy tackle. was the only one. He but. But even he wasn't really like he didn't really like I don't know, fight because off his like, block. This interior lineman gets double teamed and he's putting up a fight. He's just getting mauled by two guys. I can't tell. It, it would make no sense to let them score from the ten. I when I, you've given up fourteen points in the game. Those no sense. Those other two guys though, when he's on like the four yard line, just completely that, stood up. Yeah, that one is a li- that one I get a little bit more. I don't know how you think that fast, but like if you tackle him, it's first and goal at best. But that's why so I maybe thought, I thought they let him first score and because goal with only two timeouts, so. you it felt like they had that conversation because otherwise those guys wouldn't have been standing up like that. Yeah. Either way, you think once he got to the first down marker, maybe they let him score at that point. I don't know. Either way, it felt like they let him score. Uh, I don't know if they talked about it after. If someone can look that up, but. The the what I was getting to the point was Nico, uh, their freshman quarterback. He had it was like all in one on that last drive. He had an incredible throw where he makes an athletic move, rolls out of the pocket, throws a dart like thirty yards down the field, gets them into position. Then the very next throw, he had a, I think a tight end on the left side, fucking airmailed it like wide open, airmailed it, and then he did a Joe Milton 
to end the game where it's ran fourth and five with seven yeah, seconds left he and he ran bounds. out of bounds. So that also is a Mitch Trubisky. Yeah, he, that 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 did happen on the he UNC, threw it he, he threw it he he threw it five hundred rows into the crowd. Yeah, but the uh, my point was, what do you say, Jack? You found it. Heupel said that they let him score. Yeah, so they let him score. So there it is. Confirmed. That is that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Especially the dumbest, especially when your defense was playing well. And that was Arkansas's backup quarterback who was doing Crazy. okay. Crazy, but I what? that you let him score. That was Tennessee. Tennessee. Has a legit, legit defense, but that was Nico's, uh, you know, freshman on display where it's like he's clearly got the skills, but it's just not – he hasn't been in the wars to to really fully, like, have those moments where hopefully he gets better because they got some big games coming up. But it was chaos everywhere. And then we had Miami almost lose. Yes. Yep. It's – that Every week Miami almost loses. Yeah. That, There's no way people, they're staying unbeaten, right? That people were upset about, they thought it was targeting. I like the no targeting there. I do too. I do too. Um, like let them. Like, like like I know letter of the law. Maybe people say most obvious targeting ever. But like, do you want a game decided on targeting? I don't. Here, here that one comes down to this for me, Dave. It's like you can have two thoughts in your head at the same time. One, I want to let them. Pl- I want to see them play the game out. Two, targeting is like used so often that you then not using it there is like what the fuck is going on yeah. like the targeting rule is broken yeah right. so like i understand cow fans being like it's used so often why would it not be used there yeah uh, but, but i do it's like like uh playoff hockey playoff basketball whatever you swallow the whistles a little bit at the end i have no problem with that like do you call it in the first quarter? Fine. Do you call it, it – literally, it ends the game. I, I like the no call. Right. Yeah. Miami well, – Are you just going to write this whole Bosco? I feel like you're on it. Right. That's all. You're not contr- – I'm did agreeing you- with you. I'm, right. the, the thing I didn't like was if they called targeting, they left that kid in. The, they left that kid in. Huh? If they call targeting and the kid makes – I've tweeted it. it makes a mis- the kid makes a mistake, they leave the kid in. to what? make the, the kid makes a penalty and they leave him on the field. You got There's got to be consequences if you screw your team with the penalty. But it wasn't a penalty. I know. I Wait, jumped what? the gun. I thought it for sure was targeting. You but sh- if you're you- targeting, you're out of the game. Yeah, I would have sat him for a play regardless. No, 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 no. If it's targeting, he made you're a kicked play. out of the game. Yeah, you're right. So, so what you, you wanted? You wanted a self-imposed penalty. Self-imposed penalty. You Even wanted, though there was no penalty, one you play. wanted one play. Let him get his head back together. Why, but, but I, I, Dan? I <laughs> I speak fluent Bosco. I knew he was out of it. This I knew he was out of it. Like when I'm like he's just sitting there going through the motions, going right. And I say it, and then he says something that. I, I don't really even know what he said. If it's targeting, he's kicked out, he's of, out the of the game. You're right. So they if it's not him out targeting, anyway. they if it's not him targeting, anyway. why would you kick your own player out of the game? Because he made a stupid play. For one play, targeting. take him out and let him. But it wasn't I, targeting. It was damn close. You don't need to make that play. There. So you're saying if you're if you're if if a player hits someone hard, sit him for a play. By the way, uh, by the way, just so you know, like they had to punt. I just can't. If a player makes a tough ta- – like a hard tackle, a big collision hit, sit him because he's playing so football, it, football too hard. You, you, I and I do believe they punted. Like that was if, – if they called it, it was a first down, game's over. Instead, they had to punt. So I don't even – here's, here's the bottom line. For, was he even on the field the rest of the game? For Last Cal, play of the game maybe. For Cal, for Cal fans, terrible loss. It's not that right, point. What are we, you what had are a 25-point teaching- lead at home, and Cam Ward was special. What are we teaching kids that number two who just got a potential game losing penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct is still on the field and not benched? But what do you mean? No, they, but 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 <laughs> just to just to clarify, didn't didn't Cal just punt? What what was what are you talking I think so. about? I think they punted. So what I, are you I talking taken about? Him out for a play. But they weren't. He was on the field. It was for. It, it, they had to punt. <sighs> And then Miami, I think, scored with 20 seconds left in the game. Was that play not on second down? No, because I, the, third? the targeting okay. would have given a first down in the game. I don't know point. what you're saying right now. I don't think the kid needed to make that play towards target. Like, he had the play. He didn't have to lower his head and fucking ram him in. You could still make the play. I would have taken him out for a play. Again. Yeah, it was third and 12. 
All right. They punted. They punted. So yeah, they probably so they, did take him so, out. They did take him out for a play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was on well, the side. Well, unless he's on he, special teams. He, he no, he was on, on the side. He, he was on the sideline celebrating because they got the ball back and they went down and scored. And right. Bosco wants him benched, even though I, he maybe he was on in a, in a prevent hail mary defense for a play, make him sit that. Yeah, I. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I didn't think he had to lower his head to make that play. Thought that was a stupid move. Like all bets don't. If it's close enough to, don't put the ref in that situation. Granted, they didn't call. So all right, but that's don't put fine. that ref. Don't that's put the fine. ref in that situation. That's fine, I would have pulled the kid and been like, "What are you doing? You don't need to do." Okay, that. okay. It's like a late but, hit. It's a stupid right. play. But you want to bench him, and the game was like he wasn't even on the field the rest of the game. Like I, this is one of those things. I'm not 100 percent sure. Were you watching it in real yes, time? Yes, I watched it in real time. You did. Yes. That's why I tweeted about it. It's fucking tweeted. No, I could I could see you seeing it. Not it tweets as though somebody like just saw the play. No, I watched I it. I I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know are. how I'm you I'm a know. rider and I'm trying to save you. I, I don't can't. know how you're watching that and don't know that that would have been a first down in the end of the game. I I, I. <laughs> I'm lost, Bosco. Well, no, they had the tackle before the line and that the penalty would have made it a first down. Correct. Yes. But so then it's on the kid. He but didn't. Did, you shouldn't have put the ref in that situation. But the ref didn't. The ref didn't call it. Right. But don't put the ref in that situation. He almost Correct. called it. You don't need but to make that play. Then, re, can Wrap you re, up. They don't teach wrapping re, up can anymore. Can you reread what you wrote? Yeah. They don't teach wrapping up anymore. Can you? Everybody re, lowers their fucking head. Just reread what you wrote. What are we teaching kids? Number. Kids that number two who just got a potential game losing penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct is still on the field and not benched. There's no way you're watching the game if that's what you wrote. Uh, all right. Yeah, he he wasn't you on saw the a field. Clip. You saw a clip. He wasn't on the, the field. You well, saw a clip. Bosco, he was not on the field. He was celebrating the sideline. They punted. So what do you mean he's still in the game? What do you that's just didn't happen. Yeah. I don't even know what's going on. Uh, I also did, tweeted, why doesn't anyone, right before that, why doesn't anyone just wrap up anymore? This is 100% targeting. Shocking no call. Those are my tweets. Yeah, it sounds like you saw Miami a clip. Miami caught a break. You saw a clip. Sounds like you saw a clip, maybe thought it was second quarter of the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dave, Michigan obviously lost. Uh, tough game. I actually thought, I was so mad because I needed a win so bad I had Washington in that game, and... Tuttle. It was almost it, it. It was borderline illegal that you decided that you were going to throw forward passes. Like that was not the game I bet on. And then all yeah. of a sudden he's Tuttle throwing came out of nowhere. Uh, he's like a hundred years old. It it it, it kickstarted their offense. I'm not shocked that they lost the game. I I think I was pretty clear about that. We still have quarterback issues. Um, I haven't even looked. I assume Tuttle's the guy moving forward. He can throw it a little bit, but the guy hasn't played in a hundred years. So he it, listen. I think they're much better with him in there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was night and day. Like it was you guys were going to lose just not moving the ball at all, and then all like, of a sudden it, it's, like, it's crazy that. <laughs> I mean, they have they. I I think they said a stat that we run the ball more than Army and Navy. It's like it's yeah, it's not so. The uh, yeah. that also that re I don't know what happened because I didn't have sound on. I was watching, but I had uh, UFC on because we were here. Uh, there was that like four minute stretch where the refs just kept on like reviewing shit and ta and, ta and like it, well, that was just chaos. I don't remember that part. When was that? It was towards the end of the game. They were like reviewing a fourth down or third down, and then the refs would like get on the mic and then they'd review some more. Just mess, mess. Refs. Not a shocking loss. And I, I was scarred by Washington because I, they had been playing. I knew they were better than their record. So, I mean, Michigan can be competitive, I think, with Tuttle, but we need a quarterback. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, that was last week. Football season is here, and we can't wait to get out to some games this fall with the help of Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. You know how much we love Game Time now with their brand new Game Time Picks feature. They're making it even easier to get into a game. Game Time Picks features filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats, so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. I was looking at Ohio State, Oregon this weekend at Ohio State. I saw an amazing game time picks deal for great seats in the end zone, row 31, $234. For a game of the year, that's a great deal. Just pull up the chosen event and turn on the GT pick setting at the top of the screen and browse the best local game time picks deals near you, 
on your Game Time app homepage. What are you waiting for? I'm going to buy those Ohio State tickets now with Game Time Picks. Download the Game Time app today and use code PICKEM to easily score great deals with new Game Time Picks. That's P I C K E M. What time is it? Game Time. Uh, this week we have an incredible card. Before we do that, though, we should talk a little playoff baseball. How are you feeling, Dave? Is I have a question for you, Dave, and then we'll go to Bosco. Uh, Max is 1 and 0 in Chicago. He's 0 and 2 in New York. Yeah. Do you think that's that's crossed my mind? Yeah, it could be a problem. So that could definitely have a problem. Want Smitty get in the mix, do maybe you want get, to him get him out of there. on a flight. Yeah, I, I would have no problem with that. I, but he's there. I don't know. It's tough. That Bosco, that stream in that crazy game was something. Sunday. Yeah, one of the best games ever. Were you there? Yeah, won't happen again. Oh. That game? No, it's a once in a million. <laughs> it, it, it quite literally is a once in a century game. Right. Won't happen again. That game will not happen again. Nope. It was a once in a century game. Yep. Oh, man. So you understand what Dave's saying? Yeah, I do. It's a big week for birthday parties. Exactly. I'm going to say this. Were you? At, were you, did you have a birthday party? I had a birthday party. What? Not, was, <laughs> not my own, but I had a birthday party. <laughs> Don't get I, out of it. Wait, was it I, a child's birthday party? Yeah. Was your child's birthday party? Yeah. Okay. That. Uh, it was that, the only one I'm missing. We got some. We got some landmarks next week. We got to navigate through. She's away on business, but we're making it work. Dad, we're dropping them at fucking. We're, we're figuring it next out. week. Whoa, 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 uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Just potential, whoa, potential, whoa, whoa, potential, whoa, whoa. potential, I, potential. I, I'm say, My brother also gets married game seven of the World Series, so we know how this is gonna end. I, I'm going to say this. <laughs> we know how this is gonna end. I'm going to say this. I was as riled up, yeah, as I've been. In a long time. Yeah. Watching inning one and two. Yeah. Yesterday's game. No Smitty and no Bosco. I could not believe what I was watching. I was texting HR, figuring out how to get out of contracts. I was. <laughs> yeah, no. The doing word, the word Dunzo the, was texted to me. Dunzo. Dunzo was texted I to was, me. I was. I, I could not believe what my eyes were watching. It was avoided by the two of you showing up. Yet, do you want to be associated with Smitty as like the two guys who miss and then the two guys who show up late who always have the oblows? No, you don't. I think the oblows are shrinking, but that, yes, yesterday was unavoidable. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Did Jackie, you called him. Yes. Called. Yeah, we chatted. And what did he say? Oblos? Yeah, he had an oblo. Dave, I didn't tell you this. Uh, All-time moment. So you, so I was taking my, my son and my daughter to, uh, my son to T-ball. My daughter was coming with us. And we were walking. And you texted me the Dunzo stuff. And uh, so I look <laughs> I at my phone. Mad. I look at my phone. I'm staring at my phone. And I don't know what got into my son. But while I'm texting you back. He punched me so hard in the dick, it took me to my knees, and someone walking by actually asked if he needed to call someone because I was <laughs> on my knees on the sidewalk. So I'm sitting there with my phone in my hand. Two guys are donezo. My kids are crying. I'm, like, screaming in pain. And But Ablos. Ablos do you know how, Do you know how unfortunate it was for you, Bosco, that the two of you were late together? Yes. I yes. know. 100%. I know. It's brutal. That's, that's brutal. I I was looking at contracts. I was I I had steam Dunzo. coming out of my ears. Dunzo was texted. Dunzo. <laughs> Dunzo. <laughs> that's a bad. I couldn't believe it. It's a I bad word. Beside, I was beside myself. I I could not. I think I was muttering to myself this direct insubordination. Like, I, I just could not believe what I was witnessing. And Max had flown in. Oh, he's flying yeah. back and forth. He went. He flew in Saturday, he flew right back. He can't get across the Bridge. <laughs> he Max, is, Max is the most company ride-or-die guy out there. I, yeah. I said to him, Dave, so you, you texted me. So Max flew out for Saturday. 
we needed him for PMT for Sunday because we had a, we had not only our Sunday show but Monday we we had a big video. So I, the plan was Max was going to go back on Wednesday. Dave texted me on Sunday night and he's like, "Man, I wish Max was on the stream." And I went to Max and I was like, "Hey, just letting you know, Dave said this." And he was just like, "What do I do?" I was like, "Look, you you can do whatever you want." Uh, and he's like, "I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go Tuesday." Th- that like that's game, what he said. Th- he said right away, yeah. "He's like, I'm just gonna go because I I have to go." Listen, it, it, and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of unnamed talk. It's a what we do is definitely a young man's game to a degree, like family commitments, all that. Now Bosco never was any better when it was a young man's game, and neither was Smitty. So it's kind of I was part time when it was a young man's game, though. I was part time when it was kind of hard, game. hard, like to then be like, oh, I, and this is Smitty's thing. Like I have family, I want to value it's Smitty. You haven't done shit since day one. Nobody gets to spend more time with their family than you. That you don't come to work. You you don't work. So when the Phillies and the Mets happen to play together, yeah, you're gonna get some ribbing. You should go, but whatever. We'll get into the end. But yeah, I I when you two weren't there for the first two or three innings, I, I rightfully so. I got there the fastest I could. Rico, do you not like? I, this is a genuine question because obviously I have a family too and I have Oblos, but like October's just a no fly zone. Like it's just, it's basically like understood like, hey, October could, you know, anything, any big game, like this all could happen. Like this is when we make our money. Yeah. Well, I have a question. Why wouldn't you text me that you're going to be late or like not going to be there? That. Why would I didn't you want do to, that? I uh, didn't want to inundate you with that. I thought you were going to be like, <laughs> li- I thought you'd me. be livid either way. So it's like, it's a good point. He Probably didn't inundate texted. you. He didn't inundate you. Because you it's say? like, oh, here we go. Another one. Like, I wasn't going to give you the logistics of, hey. Did, when did, did you, you know that? Gonna, when did, he, did you think he was not going to see? <laughs> good question. No, I think he was going to see. And when did you realize Smitty was late? So it's like the two late zones are the like when he when two- he walked in. I said that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's gonna be unfortunate <laughs> in the that's cab. Be unfortunate. <laughs> so I said that's gonna be unfortunate. <laughs> oh man, you should. I told Kevin I was gonna be a little late. Do you- yeah, people got back to me quickly. I guess like that you were coming. But yeah, it, it was. I, I'm not the Dunzo and Kim from HR and I were talking. We're like, all right, if I fire some people, like, what, what does it look like? What three months severance? Like, what, what? How do I, how do I fire people? That's how mad I was. Okay. And, and, and by the way, I don't fire people, but right. that's how mad I was. Bosco, just a tip if this I'll happens again. I'll say this, again. Bosco. Yeah. You weren't going to be fired. Thank you. But. You might have been done, though. You may have been better off being fired. <laughs> yeah, it would have got the wrath. Like you're, you're working. You are working, Thank so you. you have that benefit. But like, I get it, and I, I, I get it, and I don't get it. I get it, and I don't get it. Like your kid's birthday party, major thing. What I don't get. The people who work for this company, like if you're if you're an NBA player, are you skipping your NBA game because it's Christmas? No. So that's what I because that's right. what this company is. Right. Like that's what this company. If if you play on Thanksgiving, you can't be like, I got a family. I'm not playing on Sunday. That is what you get paid to do. So, and. Everyone in the country would cut their fucking thumbs off to work here. The Smitty, I want to spend time with my family, then get the fuck out of here because I don't need you. Like, you ask to work here. When your contract's up, you beg for renewal. If Smitty wants to leave, non-compete, go do whatever you want to do. But to be like, I've made the decision to value, things come up, that is what our company does. Just like the NBA plays on Christmas Day and Thanksgiving and the NFL, those guys realize they have an unbelievable job, and on this holiday, you got to go play. Well, when the Mets play the Phillies and you don't do anything else, you have to go play. I don't know why that's hard for people to fathom. And if you don't, 
then don't be here. It, it no, really, I value it. I it, value it. It really comes down to like, because obviously I have, to, you know, I got shit going on and try to juggle it all. But like, what what would be the alternative? Working a nine to five where I have, I I can watch every game at home and all that stuff. I, I don't want that. that. I don't, I don't, I don't want that. People crisscross yeah. for travel for work. It's like we're asking to come watch a fucking game. It's it, and then it's made. It's crazy. And yeah, there is a pecking order. Obviously, there's certain people now it, it, that like you can have that decision. But when you don't do anything else, and this is it, you better fucking be there. We have a dream job. We literally have Agreed. a dream job. Agreed. There's, you get to watch sports with, with, with your friends on a couch. Agreed. <laughs> it's crazy. I called Dan about today because today I was supposed to be in Chicago. So I was like, we're canceling that, right? He's like, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, that was that was more a performative call by you. I mean, it was Bosco. You called me. I mean, listen, I wasn't going to bring it up, but you called me on whatever it was Friday. And you're like, hey, I was I was supposed to fly in for pick them. But the Mets Philly series. And I was like, yeah. And you're like, so should I cancel that trip? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. All right. But that was. That was say performative. It was I mean, confirmed. it was. That was a no brainer. I you. Dave sent the email saying the stream yes. is the most important thing. And by the way, that email was not like, it's sad I got to send it, but that wasn't the like point. I didn't know Smitty was going to, I like to be honest, I thought it was a no-brainer he was going to go. It wasn't like I was picking, I was just reminding people like, hey, be at these streams. This is quite literally, I don't think these two teams, arch rivals, have ever played in the playoffs. And no. it just so happens we have a massive crew of misfit Mets fans who are on this Black Magic run. We have these Philly fans. It's like, all right, this is kind of a no-brainer. And, and by the way, like I see a lot of the peanut gallery, like these streams, the streams generate millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of impressions, millions and, and makes money. Like our streams yes. are all sold. And not only that, but, uh, I truly believe like what makes us different is these type of moments. Like that's totally. what, that's what makes barstool barstool is when you get everyone in a fucking melting pot and just like a pressure cauldron and just going at each other. That's what makes us different than every other website out there and every other media company out there. They can try to do the watch alongs. They're not the same. Like we have the authenticity of it. So yeah, I, I mean, I've been watching, I've been glued to every stream. Same. I, I'm watching everything when it happens. I'm also say this and, and you can be right there wrongly again. Dan's still like probably the hardest worker we have. He doesn't have to be in, in Kevin is still doing a lot and I'm traveling every other weekend. We don't have to, we are doing that. And the money we get is paying the other people's salaries who don't bring in anything. And then to not show up is a slap in the face to be like, you guys keep fucking traveling. Dan has a full family. You keep traveling every fucking weekend across the country to college football and doing streams every Saturday, Sunday. So you can pay me to do nothing. And then when the one time we ask you to do something, you act like we just put you out and you learn these lessons and you're going to vet, then get out, then get out. I mean, I, I I agree with it. It's just, yeah, we could I could I could work a lot less if I wanted to, and and then we would make a lot less. And in the people who we have paid just out of like I guess loyalty, or they've been with us, would not have money for jobs. They wouldn't. So it it, it is an insane thing. And by the way, he was still probably gonna get away with it until he went absolutely bananas. Like it wasn't. We didn't even chide him. I don't know. You know what I said? I can pull up. I go, Smitty's the new Bosco. He's like emotionally unstable, victim blame. Like, what even happened? What is he so mad about? Like, nothing happened, Smitty. What, uh, oh, did you? how was the birthday party? And you go nuts, slamming doors, eyes twitching. He, he has mental issues. He's the new Bosco. Give him some of your meds. He's turned into the new Bosco. And yes, I would have been mad at you, Rico. I, you weren't. It... it, it but it wasn't to the other because I do think you're in the office a lot. You're blogging. You've turned a better corner. But you're also really, 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 really dumb. You're really, really dumb. Uh, agreed. Bosco, are you back on the HIPAA? Yeah, I'm back on the HIPAA. All right. Good, good, good. All right. Well, let's uh, – how, how do you think the rest of this series is going to go, Bosco? I mean, the Mets are a team of I destiny. I mean, we're fucking playing They're unbelievable. They're a team of destiny. It's yeah, crazy. unbelievable. Yeah, it's going, it's going seven to the World Series. 
That that Bryce Harper. Uh, so I don't know what to do at that point. The that, climber clip. No, that one. But the Bryce Harper at bat yesterday when it was I think two nothing, uh, two, two walks, walks to start the inning. Bryce Harper up, and then three, three perfect three, pitches. Three. Well, the last pitch was a perfect Way pitch, yeah, but yeah, a terrible yeah, yeah, swing. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah. was where I was like, yeah, they're they're dead. And like, they're getting every big hit. It yeah. big, like when they got bases loaded, it looked like maybe the Phillies are going to get out of it. They get the two out. They're just uh, uh, they're a team of destiny, right? The pitchers they're, are unbelievable. It's, yeah. Team of destiny right now. Yeah. Dave, and, you just went on that whole rant, and, and Rico's alluded to it, but if, if the Mets go to the World Series and it's game seven, for my he's got his wedding, brother's what wedding. It's his actual wedding? It's his actual wedding. Yeah, you got to go to the wedding. All right. What, uh, yeah, I don't so, get credit for being like a rational human. You do. You 100% do. I would not say you skip your brother's wedding. Your brother was, has to probably have like a live screen there. But you got to go to a wedding. I get that. No, so you got to. the fucking game on Saturday night. You, would, I, re, Bosco, if that happens, what I would do in your situation. What, by the way, what about he said he had all these plans. How far in advance could you have made those plans if you went to the game? <laughs> Surprise tickets to the Phils game Saturday. Uh Bosco, what Crazy. I would do that in your position, if that happens, I would go to the wedding. I'd enjoy the wedding, but I would do like Bosco updates from the bathroom. You yep. know, like videos, like every every couple of weeks where you're, at least you're still still in touch, yes. but enjoy the wedding. And, yeah. and fr- fr- I, like Frank, we had to let go- Frank go to the oh, game. Oh well, he, he was asked. he had and, to go. He and, he was blaming he was holding me. that over your head for a while. <laughs> and, and he, he was blaming me. Good content. Yeah, he also made good content personally. So. Uh, he was yeah. like he's. I think he's said to me multiple times like I'm gonna die before I see a Mets playoff game. And it's your fault, Big Cat, because it was that it was that Padres Mets yeah. uh, wild card round that I explained to him that he had to stream. So I'm happy. He looks so happy. Frank is like as yeah. happy as I'm, I've ever seen. Him. It's like one of those things where I'm. I'm rooting for the Phillies right now because uh, I want to see Max. Like, it's good for PMT, and also Max is just – he's just so fucking funny when he's in the fire. But if if the Phillies lose this series, like, Frank and the Mets fans are – Yeah, that's the same. If if the Phillies don't – like, there's a money thing I want to win, and but if they don't, I'll be rooting for the Mets. They're the best. And they also, like, they've just been through so much shit. Like, you can see it on Kevin's face. Like, he's just – He's happy. Yeah. At and any it's like point, we're awesome like, it's to see. It's not over. It's not over. It's not yeah. over. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. And then uh, right, I should have uh, called you. I apologize. Should have called you. The other series, I mean, I, I, the Padres look awesome. They yeah, they do. Lights out. They, they're just mashing. Uh, and I, I mean, the Ro- the Yankees, if the Yankees lose to the Royals, that'd be the funniest thing ever because Yankees. That's one sh- depressing stream watching those oh, guys. They're just, they're because. Cause it's like you, you are like they're the absolute opposite of the Mets. I know that the Mets have a huge payroll, and so do the Yankees. But when you, you watch the Yankees, it's like Aaron Judge can't get a big hit, John Carlos Stanton literally can't move, and they're just sitting there like, show us anything. And then the Mets have like every guy out of nowhere just got the biggest heart ever, just doing crazy shit. They got grimaces running all over the place, like the, the, the yes, yeah, doom, like a sense of doom, just with the Yankee fans. Yeah. Whereas the Mets, I mean, Tom- it, it, it it's quite a run. Tommy said it. Tommy said he was like, I'm more nervous about the Mets than I am the Yankees. Yeah. Because he's like, this is just. He hates them that. Yeah, he hates them that much. He said he'd murder himself on a live stream if the if if the Mets beat the Yankees in the World Series, he'll kill himself on the stream. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's talk some football. Let's do some football. This week, DraftKings has college football parlay profit boost. All you have to do is head to the app, opt into the Barstool Boost, and make your bet. So head to the app now and claim this week's offer. So we have a, a profit boost on parlays for college football. We're going to be betting everything on DraftKings. We'll have our parlays up. Uh, I'm I'm changing up my strategy, by the way, going forward. I did this last year towards the end. I keep just getting fucked with Wednesday lines and all that stuff. So I'm going to pick the main games. I'm going to give them mortal, but I'm not going to finish my card till like Friday afternoon because I just keep all right. shit just keeps happening that I just keep getting fucked and I just do. Can't. We have an all right counter on Bosco for this show. Say yeah, it. there's no need to keep just chirping. All right, say it again, Bosco. No, I'm not saying it again. <laughs> say the G I'm word. Got it. No, I haven't said Got, that in a long time. I know. Time. That, it. It's like this has replaced it. All right. Got it. 
Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> Let's go uh, Friday up. night. So we have a yeah. great card Saturday, but it starts Friday night. Utah at Arizona State. That's a big game. Arizona State plus six, over under 45 and a half. I can't believe that I've gotten myself back into just like constantly checking for Cam Rising news, but that's just what's happened. Um, what do you guys got in this game, Bosco? I was looking at Arizona State, but I can't get there. I like Utah in this one. Yeah. I like Utah on the road. I think they're better defense. I know they're night and day from away from home, but I'm going to take our, uh, Utah here. I'm just so sick of the Cam Rising shit. Yeah, it's, it's brutal. so, so brutal. Uh, Dave. I'm going to take Arizona State at home. Uh, Utah State coming off the loss and a quarterback. I, I, I don't like the game. This is a not bet game for me, but for the sake of the show, I'll take Arizona State. All right. I'm going to take Utah for the same for the sake of the show. It's I, I can say right now it's a non bet game, but I'm definitely going to bet it. Uh, all right. First game for Saturday. We will be there. Tex, uh, State Fair of Texas. Texas at Oklahoma. Oklahoma plus 15. Over under 50 and a half. I'm so excited. Everyone come out. We'll be on the fairgrounds. Uh, 12.30 local time is our show. Uh, it's going to be great. Dave's going to be testing every fucking thing in the yeah. entire fair. Shout out State Fair of uh, Texas. They, they've they offered to give me a guide so I can maybe cut lines and get more in. I've seen the foods I'm going to eat. I, it's going to be a debacle. Yeah. it's. I mean, you are you have to do them all, and it's just I don't know how you do them all. They all sound disgusting. <laughs> okay, so who do we, who do we got in this game? Oh, it's actually fourteen and fifty and a half. So Texas is minus fourteen. Fourteen. I thought it was higher. Uh, I like Oklahoma plus the points. Okay. Why? I just think it's going to be closer. Texas. I know they beat Michigan. <laughs> Rivalry game. I'm going to take the points with Oklahoma. Yeah, I think the, they keep it close. This game is always, no matter what, it always somebody's feels not like dead. Yeah, I could see that happening. Yeah, uh, Dave. I, I do like that logic from Bosco. I'll take Oklahoma the points. Why? Because I think it's going to be closer. Well, that sums that that sums it up. I just don't uh, see Texas. I don't. Texas has shown. Yeah, they beat the shit out of Michigan, but like they're pounded beat the on shit out of anybody, haven't they? What? Yeah, they beat haven't the shit, they out, beat out, of the shit out of everybody. Exactly, but everybody they're playing is not necessarily the best. And Oklahoma is in a little bit of a down year, but I think the points are going to be close. I think Oklahoma. I'm also taking Oklahoma. I always do think this game is closer than. It's like want to throw out the records and it, yeah, I, can you have a look a week ahead week in this situation? I guess it's two weeks. They're playing uh, Oklahoma. No, Oklahoma is Texas is Georgia next Georgia. week. Georgia, Georgia. I don't know if you can look ahead of the Red River shootout rivalry, whatever you want to call it, but this will be look ahead spot. I like Oklahoma and I like the over. Oh, I I do believe Texas is going to score no matter what. So. I'll, what is that? A ghost? I'll take uh, OU in the over. All right. Uh, I'm going to take – I'll take the over. I'm going to go different. I'm, I'm going to take Texas. I don't know. I just think their offense is so good. I don't know how Oklahoma keeps up with them. And, yeah, this is I, – I understand what you're saying about Georgia, but Texas is also off a bye, I believe. Yeah, I'll take Texas minus 14 in the over 50 and a half. Uh, Penn State at USC – USC's plus five and a half. USC just went to Minnesota, lost outright. Good pick, Dave. Over unders fifty and a half. I had that. Yep. James Franklin, what a fucking loser. It's all that he guy does is. is whine. It's all he does is whine. Did you see it, Dave? No. He said, so we have the new Big Ten and yep. USC and Cal or sorry, USC and UCLA and Washington, Oregon have to fucking fly all the way across the country all the time. James Franklin basically was like, Well, it's bad for us too. Because apparently the runway at State College is too, too small. small, so they have to take an hour and 15 bus trip to Harrisburg. I'm not going <laughs> to throw stones at that, because I got to tell you, I've been the victim of a short runway on private <laughs> flights so many times, <laughs> and it's an absolute pain in the ass oh. when they're like, oh, can't. Can't land from Miami to Montauk. Runway is too small. Got to land in West Hampton. Hour and a half in traffic. I punch my fist on the table. I'm like, motherfucker. So I feel that. Short runways. <laughs> so, so, James Franklin, you found one person who has your back. Rich I, people I, problems. It, who, who, who keeps doing that? Who keeps running in front of the camera? Liam ran across. <laughs> Every two seconds. This is like Bigfoot running back and forth. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to criticize because I complain about the short runway all the time. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so this game, oh, man, I don't know. USC feels like the big boy football is starting to hurt them a little bit. Uh, and Penn State, I, I still – I think Penn State is better than they've been in the years past. They haven't played a ton of people. Although that Illinois game, like I think they won by 14. They dominated that game. Like they absolutely dominated that game. I'm going to take Penn State minus five and a half, um, and hope that this isn't one of those Penn State moments where it's like, oh fuck, they're not. They're the same Penn State team. Well, let me tell you, I have a beat on USC. When they travel to Big Ten country, they're going to lose. And when they get to play on the West Coast in the Coliseum and the Hollywood elites, they're going to win. I like USC here. Same. Okay. USC for both always these guys. US, yeah, I'm always picking against State Penn, but USC. Uh, like the quarterback as well. Okay, one of the one of the biggest games of the season, Ohio State at Oregon. Oregon plus three, over under 53 and a half. Did you guys see the end of the Oregon game on Friday night? That was Brutal. when I knew I was going to have a bad That game. was the field goal? Yep. Dave. Mission point State field, field goal. Ten points in eight was, minutes or something. Dave, there was there was 20 seconds left. And they I, had yeah, like I saw your tweets. How five. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. That is the biggest loser shit ever. It was the spread was 23. They were down 24. They kicked a field goal with 20 seconds left. You got to like it, though, if you're the alumni of Michigan State. I just was so, so, so mad. Uh, and then I had UNLV. I, sw- I switched and took UNLV, and they had that fucking. They basically were like they were going to win the game, and Syracuse scored on third or fourth down. It was bad. Bad Friday night for me. Bad Friday night for me. Uh, okay, so Ohio State, Oregon. Rico, I'll start with you. Ducks, what are you thinking? I think both of these teams haven't been tested at all um, and haven't looked great, but I'm going to take Oregon here. I believed in them from the season earlier. Uh, I like Dylan Gabriel. I think Oregon gets it done. Okay, Dave. I'm absolutely not sold on this Ohio State team yet at all. Uh, I'm going to take Oregon again. I think you're going to see a lot of what, like, okay, USC goes to Minnesota, loses. Michigan goes to Washington, loses. The team's traveling across the country are going to lose a lot of these games. So I think Oregon wins in the scheme of things. They're probably both playoff teams, if we're being honest. But uh, I'm going to take Oregon here. I want to take Oregon. Dylan Gabriel's looked off. He had, he had That was the other part of that game. He had two bad uh, goal line interceptions, which were just killers. And I, Chip Kelly, does Chip Kelly not scare you guys? No. Chip Kelly going back to Oregon. He's maybe been That's holding a something bit. back a little bit. I'm going to take Ohio State minus three. This might be a stupid pick. But I, I do think that they've been – I think they've been going through the motions a little bit, whereas Oregon has not played anyone really good, and they've had moments where they've looked really bad and not like, you know, things have been clunky. I'm going to take Ohio State minus three. Because it, it's also it's like Ohio State has two two games on their schedule. It's this and in, in, – and I, I guess they play Penn State, but this is Michigan. Like that's, yep. it, yeah. And we're we're not shaping up like a real game right now. But yeah. All right. Last game: Ole Miss at LSU. LSU plus three and a half over under sixty three and a half. Saturday night, Death Valley. LSU. I don't know. I mean, they're undefeated in the SEC, which is crazy because they have not. You know that South Carolina game. Obviously, we saw them week one USC. Ole Miss kind of recovered. I knew, I knew, I took South Carolina last week. I knew they were dead the minute Instant. that they, they, they just can't play from behind, and they were behind instantly. They, I think they went for it on fourth down on their own territory, and it's like you just knew it was over. Um, I'll start. I'll take the three and a half at home. I just know how hard of a place that is to play. Um, I'm a little nervous because I don't think, I do think Ole Miss has more talent, and, uh, this is one of those games that Lane maybe feels like he can win and then he'll get killed by Georgia. But I'll take LSU at home plus three and a half. Rico. I like Ole Miss. I like the offense. I like Dart. I like Lane. I like Ole Miss. Maybe I, I like Ole Miss We're all and the over. Everything. Damn. Ole Miss and the over? Yep. <sighs> maybe I should Ole Miss and the over. I don't know. I'm going to stick with LSU. I'm going to stick with LSU. Uh, okay, let's do our cards. Uh, DraftKings, what a slate, boys. What a slate. These are the Loaded. weekends we dream of. 
We'll get back to pick them in a second. Let me tell you about Amazon. Thursday night football is on, and it's only on Prime Video. This Thursday, it's a clash of the NFC West as the San Francisco 49ers face the San. This Thursday, it's a clash of the NFC West as the San Francisco 49ers face the Seattle Seahawks. Two teams desperate for a win. Dan, who do you think is actually more desperate for a win there? Uh, Seattle or San Fran? San Fran. San Fran. Join uh, Al Michaels, Kirk Herbstreet, and Kaylee Hartung for the latest chapter in this Biddle rivalry. Coverage begins at 7 p.m. Eastern with football's best party Thursday night football tonight, live from Seattle. Not a Prime member, not a problem. Simply sign up for a 30-day free trial, and you can cancel at any time. It's the 49ers and the Seahawks at 7 p.m. Eastern on Thursday night football, and it's on Prime Video. Restrictions apply. See Amazon.com slash Amazon Prime for details. Let's do some cards. I Like I said, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish my card more Friday. I do have one game I like. Uh, before I get to my mortal, uh, so I'll add this one. I like Pitt minus three. I like Pitt minus three. Uh, they are playing against. Uh, let me see. What, who UCF. Is no, Cal. Cal. That's just in a, a spot. Cal has to go across the country after a very emotional, like late Saturday night loss. Uh, I like Pitt minus three. Rico. Uh, Washington plus the two and a half against Iowa. I like Memphis minus seven and a half against USF. I like USC plus five and a half. I like New Mexico against uh, minus six and a half. Air Force is a mess. Good Maybe call on can... Navy. I rode. Yeah. Maybe you guys can talk me out of this. It's an all time letdown spot, but I think Vandy keeps it close against Kentucky. Like I don't see Kentucky blowing them out. I like Vandy plus the fourteen. I guess I'll spoil it. My mortal is Kentucky this week. Okay. It's How's a great, that for talking? Yeah. How's that for talking about? Not, I think it's the obvious. First of all, it makes me more excited that you just jump back in on Vandy after that. You're like, it seems like a letdown spot, you think? Yeah, no uh, shit. The biggest letdown. And I think Kentucky's very good. So I think very Kentucky, good, but I don't know if they I, could blow them out. Did you have two Rico, touchdowns? Did you have Vandy last week? No. All right, so that's even better, Dave. Yeah, I uh, mortal mortal Kentucky. I just gave all it. Right. The 13 and a half, and I, Kentucky's defense is outstanding. Right. Uh, Boise minus 20 and a half, and then I have a mortal later. Okay. Dave? I already gave my mortal, right? Kentucky minus 13 and a half at home against Vandy. Um, I like Bama bouncing back, minus 21 against South Carolina. Iowa minus two and a half at home against Washington against Boston again there. USC plus five and a half at home against Penn State. Illinois minus 19 and a half against Purdue. Purdue's terrible. Uh, Oklahoma plus 15. Over, I guess he says 14 and a half. I have 15, but over 15 and a half. BYU at home, minus five against Arizona. Uh, Georgia, minus 34 at home against Mississippi State. Bounce back week for Tennessee, minus 15 and a half at home, world's largest cocktail party. No, that's not, excuse me, versus Florida. That's Georgia, Florida. So Tennessee, minus 15 and a half at home against Florida. That's more of the uh, Peyton Manning Spurrier game. Uh, Ole Miss, minus three and a half at LSU. What's the total there? Uh, 63, 63 and a half. half. Give me the over in that. Uh, UCLA at home, plus five and a half against Minnesota. Continuing with my Big Ten, Pac-12 merger, who flies where. And uh, I'll, I'll give Dion a spin, plus four at home against Kansas State. I think Kansas State's very different home and road. Great. Boys, that, 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 uh, I really need Travis Hunter to win the Heisman. I really he's need up there. He's hey, definitely up there. He, what is the, what are his odds right have now? A, he's second, but the running back from Boise just I runs know. for three thousand yards a game and, and nine touchdowns. He's favored by twenty and a half this week. He's going to run all over Hawaii. He, I mean, he's beating Barry Sanders' records right yeah. now. Plus three hundred, Travis Hunter, Gentis plus two twenty-five. Man, I wish I had a cash out. I have Travis Hunter five grand at forty to one. Woo! Well, I would cash out. <laughs> It's a big pop. But I can't. I gotta <laughs> ride with him. Yeah, that's a big pop. And I I'm worried about Genty. But if Travis Hunter, if 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 the Colorado gets to seven or eight wins, yeah, and he plays. Like no one's doing this. But no one's ever done one. Genty. Well, Barry Sanders. He's ahead of him. Barely. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't, I, yeah, I, I don't think you want to be in the. He, he's barely ahead of Barry Sanders. Like, but I mean, he, but no cool. one's ever done what Travis Hunter's doing. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I I I'm just watching every Colorado game, just being like. Stacked. You gotta start watching you like Boy State and just like hoping they 
stack the box 11 deep. Dave, I'm not just watching Boise State. I am like, so on Saturday, he ripped off a 75-yard run to start the game. He does it instant. instant. It's, it, it's before the clock's at 13, he has a 70-yard touchdown run. And by the way, Dan, they're not just touchdown runs. He's breaking 3,000 tackles. He's he phenomenal. Minus 130 it's, to score three touchdowns. It's, it's not like just gaping holes. He's doing it himself, too. And uh, so, Dave, he, he has a 75-yard touchdown run. I'm basically just, like, constantly box score watching him. He, I think it was then he had – uh, six carries for 82 yards. So his next five runs were nothing. And I was ready to tweet being like, take out that run. He's averaging like a yard and a half a carry before I could tweet it 60-yard touchdown run. You know who that is? <laughs> Barry Sanders. Yeah, it's fucking brutal. Brutal. He's, he's awesome. He's so goddamn fast, too. I know. And it's too late for me to bet him, to, yeah. to hedge. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, mortals. Mortals. I have to win a mortal. I cannot win a mortal. I'll start. <coughs> I'm going to take UNC plus five and a half. It's gross, but I like the spot for them. Uh, Georgia Tech has uh, off their win against Duke. UNC back home. I don't know. This is an ugly pick. Ugly, ugly pick. I, I also keep splitting my mortals. Like on the college football show, I took Wisconsin. They won by a million against Purdue. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just kept with Wisconsin on both shows, but I'm taking UNC plus five and a half. Uh, Hank. I'm going Ole Miss minus three and a half versus LSU. Okay. Soupy. I'm going Pitt minus three. Okay. Cal. You like that one. Uh, Jack. I'm going Kansas State minus four, and then Evo is doing UNC plus five and a half. So okay. Five. So, all right. All right. So, that makes me feel better. That makes me feel better. Uh, Dave has his mortal of Kentucky, which add Kentucky to my card minus 13 and a half. And then uh, Bosco finish us off. It's what very you late. You get a. It's very late. You get a list game this late in the season. But I'm gonna oh, take Missouri minus, oh. minus twenty-seven and a half off of a loss at UMass. You talk about being pissed off. I know Miami and South Florida. Maybe they weren't that pissed off, even though Miami covered when they had to go there. They're definitely pissed off. They're going to UMass to play this game. Definitely pissed off. I think that shows in the score. Missouri smokes them minus twenty-seven and a half. Wow. If they don't, they have absolutely no heart. Missouri minus the twenty-seven and a half. Run list it up on game. you, list. 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 This game. late in the game. This Don't late say in the list. Game. Don't say list. Don't say list. All right, good show, boys. Dave, I'll see you on Saturday. Good luck with the eating. Bosco, I'll see you on the stream in a couple hours. Yep. Uh, watch it. I'm going to watch every second of it. Let's so. go, Phils. Sorry I let yeah. you down, Dave. Yeah. Don't patronize me. <laughs> Growth. <laughs> Sorry you let me down. All right, Bosco. No, you no, you're not. No, you're not. That 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 made me more mad. That little sorry you let me down. Bosco, how many presidencies? Four. You're not what can sorry. Grow? <laughs> sorry. Soon to be five presidencies. Yeah, exactly. What well, gotta be able to grow, Dan. I'll let you know if he sends another Dunzo text.